Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the generation of FM wave using Armstrong method. So let's directly jump into the topic. So this Armstrong method is also called as indirect method of generation of FM wave. So what about the direct method? I will tell you. In direct method, the it is difficult to obtain higher order stability in carrier frequency because the carrier generation is directly affected by the message signal. So due to which the direct method cannot be used for broadcasting system. So in indirect FM method to overcome that drawback, we use a crystal oscillator for getting higher order stability of carrier signal with high frequency. So FM is obtained through the phase modulator. So let's write the points which we have discussed. The main disadvantage. So this cannot be used for broadcasting system. So let's talk about the indirect method. In indirect method, the narrow band frequency is indirectly generated by using the phase modulation technique and these narrow band FM signal is further converted into wide band FM using frequency modulator. Let me tell you what is narrow band frequency and what is wide band frequency. So the frequency of uh, the FM uh, signal is uh, given by 2 into beta plus 1 into fm here if the beta is very less than 1 then it is called narrow band fm and if the beta is very greater than 1 then it is called as wide band fm so to overcome these drawbacks we use indirect method for fm generation so in indirect method We use the crystal oscillator for getting higher order stability of the uh, carrier signal with high frequency. So the basic principle is to generate the narrow band frequency, this narrow band frequency and this will be converted into wide band frequency using the frequency multipliers. We can use as many frequency multipliers as we want. So that is the basic principle of Armstrong or indirect method. So let's see the block diagram of this. This will generate, here we will get the narrow band frequency and uh, we can see that this is the crystal oscillator. The crystal oscillator will generate the carrier signal. Here we will get the carrier signal which will be having a frequency of 1 megahertz frequency. So we can clearly see that this is the crystal oscillator which will generate the carrier signal and this crystal oscillator will help us for getting higher order stability of the carrier signal with high frequency. So 1 megahertz is very quite high frequency right. So this carrier frequency will be sent to a buffer which will hold the signal for a while and then this will be sent to a combining network and 90 degree phase shifting network. To both the networks we will send the carrier signal and here we are applying the message signal. This audio equalizer will integrate the message signal and this will be sent to a product modulator and from here side the carrier will be sent and uh, to the 90 degree phase shifting network uh, 90 degree phase shifting network means this cause omega ct will be shifted by 90 degree or you can say that 90 degree is added to this uh, angle or you can write it as omega ct plus 90 so you will get sine omega ct so this sine omega ct is 90 degree phase shifted carrier this will be applied to the product modulator so what uh, signals are we getting at product modulator this message signal integration and this 90 degree phase shifted carrier signal so from here also the carrier signal which is not shifted is coming to, to the combining network and uh, this product modulator will give two sine band signal so this both will give the narrow band frequency f, uh, signal and uh, this is the narrow band fm so this is the product modulator outcome that is narrow band FM. So this narrow band FM will be converted into wide band FM by using this frequency modulator. 
This network is just a phase modulator for generation of narrowband FM. The main story starts from here. The narrowband FM will be uh, converted into wideband FM using this frequency multiplier. As we can see, we have generated 1 MHz frequency as the crystal oscillator and after the frequency modulator, we are getting 100 MHz. And after this, again, we will use the crystal oscillator which will generate 1.7 MHz frequency which is greater than 1 MHz, right? So this and this frequency will be sent to a mixer. The mixer can give two outcomes, either 100 plus 1.7 MHz or 100 minus 1.7 MHz. So after passing to band fast filter, the band fast filter will select whatever signal it wants. Like either it wants 100 plus 1.7 MHz or 100 minus 1.7 MHz. Whatever signal it requires, it will take. And then it will be sent to a class C power amplifier network, which will amplify the power of the signal. And then it will be sent to the antenna. That's it. This is the operation of the Armstrong method or indirect method. So basically, we generated the narrow band FM using this phase modulator. We used the multiplier to increase its frequency. And then we sent it to a bandpass filter to select either this network or this frequency signal. And then this is sent to a class C power amplifier and then to the antenna. That's it. So this is all about this video. If you liked it, then don't forget to click that like button. And if you are new, then subscribe to my channel. I will be keeping more videos like this. And uh, yeah, bye.